It's Power 106, where hip-hop lives. Jeff G., Big Boy's Neighborhood, on the phone, friend of the neighborhood. I could call you that, right? Yeah. All right, <laughs> Matt Barnes from your Los Angeles Lakers. What up, Matt? What's going on, my man? Everything's real good, man. So you guys are on the road. Uh, you kind of took a little bit of a tough L last night. Um, out of curiosity, man, how, how was the vibe this morning in, in, in talking with Mike Brown and the rest of the team? Uh, I mean, the, the good thing about the league is there's always another game. And this season, you know, the games come by come, come by the day. Um, we know we missed the opportunity to win in Miami last night. Uh, you know, we just didn't have it. But, uh, you know, fortunately we have a chance to play Orlando tonight, which is a former team of mine. And, you know, I expect us to bounce back tonight. Um, yeah, you're talking about the schedule, and that brings something to mind, man. I mean, we've been watching uh, the Lakers go through a uh, hell of injury problems, man. I mean, uh, it seems like everybody's been hurt at one time or another. How much does playing this frequently affect you guys' conditioning and the chance of getting hurt? It, it's just tough. You know, we're trying to, you know, play a season that's normally, you know, six or seven months and, you know, a three-and-a-half-month span, four-month span. So, you know, our schedule is like a baseball schedule right now. And, uh, you know, these games are rough and tough every night. And, you know, we got to play four or five games a week. So, you know, fortunately, it's not just our team. It's the whole league, even though we have played more games than anybody. You know, the rest of the league will catch up with as many games as we play. But, you know, it's something that the whole league is going through. So we're just going to have to figure out a way to get through it. Uh, let me ask you this. you got a, a, a few new folks, McRoberts and Murphy, and you got the Rooks like uh, Morris and stuff. Who's impressed you the most um, work ethic-wise or just maybe his personality-wise? Um, is there anybody that you're kind of going, man, I'm, I'm glad this dude's on our team? Well, you know, I think everybody helps, you know. Um, you know, the rookies definitely help. You know, being a point guard in the NBA, you don't really get a too much uh, chance to play. But, you know, Darius Morris has been ready when he, you know, got his chance with Steve Blake being hurt. You know, he's played well. Uh, I really like Josh McRoberts a lot. He kind of reminds me of myself, you know, just a bigger version of myself. He'll do anything on the basketball court to help the team win. You know, he doesn't take and uh, he plays hard. And then, then uh, Troy Murphy is, you know, one of those unique bigs that can really shoot the ball. So, um, you know, all three of those guys have really helped our team. And once we really get our roles down and the understanding of the offense and the defense, I think that's when everyone will really start to come together. Uh, let me ask you this, man, because I know Laker fans will get pissed if I don't ask, ask this question. H how bad really is Kobe dealing with that wrist on a day-to-day, -day, man? I mean, how much does he have to go through just to play? I mean, it's tough. It's tough, you know. It, it, it's pretty amazing what he's been able to do with that wrist. Uh, you know, it is getting better, which is a great thing, but it's bad. You know, to have two torn ligaments in the hand you shoot with, I don't think people understand, first of all, how bad torn ligaments are, and then not to mention in the hand you shoot with. So, uh, you know, he's been amazing. He's really carried the load, you know, for our team, and I think we need to, you know, as you know, the rest of the team, we just we need to pitch in a little bit. You know, Andrew and Powell done a good job um, with scoring. You know, and those are, you know, basically our big three. I think, you know, besides that, the rest of us need really need to try to step up and, you know, find easier ways to, uh, you know, get some points so we can help him out a little bit. But he's going through a lot on a daily basis just to play, and uh, I don't know if people probably realize, you know, what he's going through just to be out there every night. And a, kind of a cool thing happened for Kobe this week with Michael Jordan kind of coming out and saying, hey, listen, man, if anybody deserves to be compared to me, it's Kobe. Um, what did you think about that as someone who plays with, with Kobe? Um, you know, I mean, I always looked at it that way with all due respect to Mike, you know, and, and until he said it, you know, I've always kind of looked at it that way. You know, I'm really a student of the game. And you know, like you said, if anybody can be compared to him, they are very similar. You know, Mike has one more ring than Kobe, and Kobe lets everybody know that, that he wants to get that next ring. But just the way, you know, the, their drive and, and, and the way they look at the game and the way they play the game, you know, really sets them apart from anybody, from the LeBrons and from the d Wade and from everyone else's. You know, those guys are both killers, you know, on both ends of the court. They won't do absolutely anything for their team to win. And I think the one thing that really sets them apart is they're not afraid to fail. You know, Kobe could miss 10 shots in a row and he'll shoot the next 10. And I think that's what makes him great. So, uh, you know, Michael was the same way, you know, and I agree. You know, if anybody could be compared to Mike, it's definitely Kobe. Let's talk about some fun stuff, man. We always get a chance to talk music when we see each other, man. What, what's in uh, What's in your headphones right now while you're on the road? Um, right now I got a little bit of Pac, a little bit of Nip, uh, that new Ross, uh, the new Jeezy. Thanks to you. Uh, <laughs> um, you. Who else? Who else? Who else? The Ti. So really just with, with current, and then, uh, you know, I always, you know, I, I got to, you know, stay representing the West, you know, so I mess with that Nipsey Hustle, the, the the Snoop and uh, Wiz uh, High School, yeah. and then, uh, you know, before games, it's always that Tupac.
Nice, man. Well, thanks for that. And then I got to ask you one more question because I know, I know the rest of the ladies in the neighborhood would be mad if I didn't ask you this. How tough is it, man, to see part of your life unfold on the television show, man? I mean, I know you signed up for it, so you knew, you know, things like this could happen. But has it been tough for you and or the fam to, to see some tough times play out on TV? It's very tough. And then not only that play out, but then, you know, everyone knows Gloria and I broke up. Yeah. You know, so then to hear, yeah. you know, it, it, I mean, just being honest, to hear, you know, that she's dating other people. And I heard, I hear, you know, vice versa with me dating other people. So it's really tough. You know, I'm really glad at this point, really, that our kids are really still young and they really don't have to hear and see everything that's actually going on and the rumors and, and, and the BS. Um, you know, people think that that show is, you know, 100% real and it's, it's not 100% real, you know, but the real fact is that we did split up.